In this tutorial, we explore the role of and demonstrate how to create fake migrations. Now, fake migrations in Django are a way to mark migrations as applied to the database without actually executing the SQL statements contained in the migration files. So this can be useful in scenarios where you want to synchronize the state of the migrations history with the database schema without making any actual changes to the database. I probably have already mentioned at some point the fact that as a Django developer, we don't always have access to the database. Our database might be managed by the database team or uh, some sort of database administrator, or we may have some sort of external database, again, that we don't have access to. Now, it may be preferable in some cases, in more business contexts, to actually make changes to the database first and then change the application. It might not just be the Django application that is connected to this database. There might be other uh, third-party apps or other apps connected to this central database. So if a change were to be made directly onto the database, of course, what we would need to do is to sync that change to our Django app here. So obviously the first stage, we would identify what changes need to be made. We'd then go into the uh, models and then make the changes. Now, naturally at that point, we would uh, make migrations that would create our migration file. And then we would want to then go ahead and run migrate. So that would be a typical process. Now, at this point, what we don't necessarily want to happen is to, for Django to actually apply those changes to the database because those changes have already taken place. So here we can use fake or fake migrations as a way of marking the migration as applied to the database without actually executing the SQL statements contained in the migration file. So any of the operations that has been stated in the migration file. It is important to understand why we'd, we would make changes in the first place. Well, of course, we need to make sure that our models are synced with the database. But in addition to that, we also want to make sure that if we need to replicate the app environment, that we have all the instructions set in place so that we can actually replicate the database should we need to. Now, you might have all the information you need at this point to make fake, but let's just go through the process of utilizing fake here within our project. Now, I have already applied this migration in the stock app. So let's go ahead and just show this in action. So what I'll do is I will make a change to the length of this name. Oh no, in the model. So stock, yeah, we just have this category table in the uh, stock model. So I'll change that to 100 and that should re be reflected in the database, of course, um, should we make that change. So I'll go ahead and make migrations. If I can find that command, there we go. So make migrations to the stock app. So we have altered the field uh, length. So that should now be uh, set up. Yeah, the max length 100. Okay, so let's go ahead and now run migrate. But this time what we do is we use the fake option. So let's go for fake. So it looks like um, we have now fake. You can see it says faked. If I open up the database, go over to the stock category table here, show the table. Now, if I look at the stock table or the stock category table at the bottom left here, I can see that the name, you may be able just to see that, be able to just see that the, the category uh, name is still set to 300 uh, characters. So you can see that we haven't actually made that change. Now, because we know and are aware of the migration table, we can also now inspect the migration table. So let's have a look at that, to see if the actual migration was applied. Now, if it's entered here, it's likely now that that has actually been applied. So this is the uh, migration that we have just applied, but obviously we haven't actually applied it to the database, so we faked it. So as far as Django is concerned, we now have actually applied that migration, but of course we faked it and we didn't actually apply it to the database. Now, if we take a look at the help text, we find that in addition to fake, we also have the fake initial option. So it says here that it detects if tables already exist and fake apply initial migrations if so. 
So here then, the fake initial is a command that allows you to mark all migrations for an app as applied in the migration history without actually executing any SQL statements or creating any database tables. So for example, if you have manually created some new tables in your database for a new app, for example, in your Django app, you would have to then go ahead and create that new app within your Django um, environment in your Django project. Once you've created that new Django app, you could then potentially utilize fake initial to actually obviously apply those migrations to mirror what you've changed in the database or what has already been changed in the database reflecting that new app that you're creating. But of course, you're not actually applying that to the database. Don't forget, we also have the show migrations list that will then, in addition to looking at the database, we'll show you the fact that this migration that we faked has been applied with the X next to the migration name. So to summarize, the fake option in Django migration commands plays a crucial role in managing the migration history and database schema without actually applying any changes to the database.